Okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Erlog Plays No Pomino. Um, this is episode three, and I've had some sleep, and I'm playing the game a lot earlier in the evening. So right now, instead of it being 10 o'clock at night after uh, some classes and coming home at 8.30, tonight I got home at 4.30 and I made myself some dinner. And now I'm recording Noel Pomino at uh, 6.48 p.m. So what this means is that hopefully I will be able to break 300 tonight for the first time in the history of this series. That would be nice. Okay, drop. Good, good. <laughs> also, I, uh, I might try to talk a little bit less today so that I can concentrate a little bit more because talking and playing Tetris at the same time is very difficult. Um, if you don't believe me, you can try it. All right. So this is looking not fantastic, but um, I, I should be able to pull it out. Yeah, if I get that long piece there, then do that. All right. Looking pretty all right. I'm happy. Good, good. Oop. Didn't. Mess that up too bad. Gonna take that Tetris. Okay. Approaching level 100. There we go. So I'm hoping if I can record this episode a bit earlier in the evening, maybe I can use the rest of my evening to play some, some Bloodborne. Uh, that's a hot new game at the time of this recording. All right. Starting to get faster. Starting to feel not so confident. Come on. Just just get me to 200. Then it'll slow down for a little while again. Then I can recover. Oop. I don't think that's the best... Uh, hole placement for me. I really should. Oh, I just messed it up there. Um, at least right now, this is those are kind of uh, higher level things for me to complain about, which is better than some of the. Ah, <laughs> I was gonna say it's better than some of the very basic mistakes that I've made in some of the prior videos. There we go. It was right on the edge of where I was able to get that long piece into. No. But I should be able to... Oh! It wouldn't rotate. The pieces, they're not rotating. Oh, there we go. So level 199 on our first try. Three minutes and... 37 seconds. Um, so, let's do this again. Let's see what's going on. All right, round two. Start. I just want to break 300. I want to show the world what I can do. That high score table on the game over screen is just messing with me because you guys can see it and I can see it. So like, I know what's, what's possible. I know what I've done in the past. And I really don't want to do post commentary on these episodes, even though I would probably play better if I did uh, if I recorded commentary after the video, I really want this to be raw. My reactions, uh, my thoughts as I'm playing the game. Okay. I 
should have looked at the next piece. I shouldn't be uh, tapping so much. I should be making use of left and right rotations appropriately. But it's it's tough to get your mind my mind around the fact that you can rotate both directions. I just I forget that I can do it, especially ah, when the game is moving quickly. No. <laughs> Not great. Just need to... There we go. Yep, that was a... I tapped three times there, and I really should have used the left rotation. Ah! No, just couldn't get it over there. And then I, I saved it there, and then I messed up the next piece because I wasn't looking at it. Nope. I'm just gonna fail. Uh, no reason for you to keep watching that. Alright. Let's do this again. So I'm gonna... I'm going to, again, probably keep this to around 25 minutes. Depending on how I'm doing, how I'm feeling. Um, that seems like it's probably the sweet spot for both uh, what people probably want to watch and also for my ability to play. So, that's what I'm going to target. Alright. I'll accept that hole there for a second. Aha! I used left rotation. Because I'm a Tetris master. Tetris masters know how to use left rotation. That's really, that's all there is to that skill. To using, to becoming a Tetris master is really just, it's rotating left. No. <laughs> uh, so many... Poorly placed blocks. Oh, it's a good thing I'm not an architect. My uh, my houses would be falling down all over the place. People would be suing me. People would be dying. It'd be like the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory. It, it would it would it would cause new building codes to be written to make sure that people couldn't make the same mistakes that I made. Because nobody want to live in this house. Man. I was feeling really pretty good about this game, and then um, ah, I just it wouldn't it wouldn't rotate. I need I need to rotate left. Okay, and we're gonna go again, and I'm gonna keep going until I hit the 25 minute mark because uh, that's what this Tetris game is about: is you know hitting retry, and starting over, and not letting it get to you. there. I need to think a little bit more. I try to play fast when it's slow like this because um, I know that's what the game really wants you to do in order to get a good grade, but uh, I think I need to be thinking a bit more about how I'm placing blocks because that practice while it's slow of placing blocks I think is going to teach me how to place the blocks better later when it's a lot faster. Come on. Nope. And I put myself well, like the whole idea in a lot of the the like the Tetris stacking strategy strategies from what I gather is that um you don't want to be putting yourself in situations where you need to count on a single piece to save you. 
So you try not to create holes that are more than too high, because if it's more than too high or too deep, then you need uh, a long piece to save you. Um, whereas if you build them too deep, like uh, two spaces deep, then you can, with just these L pieces, you can kind of save yourself and it's okay. Well, not save yourself, but you can um, you can manage it a lot better. Okay, just need to put that, put that there, put that there. So I've got a really bad like set of holes in my in my stack. Um, it's gonna take a lot of work to get rid of them, but maybe I can. Oh, I should have. Uh, that was not terrible, but not ideal. I should have placed that so the extra bricks weren't all over where I want to erase the hole. There we go. Just get a long piece, which I should get soon. Okay, that's not too terrible. All right. I think I managed to get a Tetris that time. <laughs> I need to erase the triple tap for my vocabulary because any time I'm doing a triple tap is a time where I really should have rotated left because rotating left in that situation would be one tap. So it's like the maximum number of taps you should ever do is two because anything more than that and you could have just saved taps by rotating the other way. All right, uh, level 199 again. So it's better than my second try, I think, or the, the time two times before. So we're gonna hit retry again. So like I said, gonna try to take it a little bit slower at the beginning, cause, because let's be real honest with ourselves. This is not gonna be the time where I beat this mode. So I should probably concentrate on just working my way through the levels, and then later on I can do try to do the things that I need to do in order to beat the game. Right now this is just, this is training. And that's what the series is about, it's training. So I'm already, I already feel like I'm stacking a lot better. I'm looking at that next piece, I'm planning for it. I'm getting Tetris's. And so like, even if I play a little bit slower, it's not bad. Because, especially if I'm getting Tetrises, then it means that I'm probably going to be more efficient in the long run. And that was my first major mistake. But even then, if I just continue to, if I continue to play properly, which is, that, that right there is not proper play. That's some awful play. That is like one of the worst uh, patterns that I have made in my very short Tetris career so far. All right, rotate like that. There we go. But I might be able to save it. All right, most of the ugliness, most of the ugly pattern is gone. That block there, okay, that's a lot better now. Oh, there we go. That there. Oh, I had it, I had it. I was like, I'm gonna rotate left, I'm gonna rotate left. And then my 
my muscle memory rotated one too many times because like my hand was budgeting for the like rotating how I usually rotate and which is requires multiple taps so it's like I remembered to hit the the correct button but my hand didn't remember to hit the correct button only one time Already stacking worse than before. All right, doing some more planning. That's a Tetris, okay. I'll take it. You gotta take the Tetrises where you can get them. I'd like just a one... Yeah, there we go. I was going to say that I wanted just a one block hole on the left side there, and I managed to get it done. Not a Tetris, but three lines I'll take it. And almost a blank field with at level 100. So we'll just see what happens. Yeah, you get into this uh, zen-like state when you play this game. Ah. And sometimes you mess up and you got to make sure that it doesn't mess up, you know, your thinking. Your confidence. Because you mess up, and then you start, you think like, ah, I messed up. But the next block is already out, and then in the time that you thought like, ah, I messed up, you've already messed up again. And so it just, it spirals really quickly. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, man. See what I'm saying? Get above 200. Not even going for 300 anymore. Nope, not getting it. Okay, probably two more tries, and then we'll wrap it up. This could be the one. Or at least break 200. Man, I can't believe I got... 2.30 my first game recording, and then now I can barely break 200. What is going on? Maybe I should just, I should post, I should renumber the episodes in reverse so that it looks like I'm getting better. Okay. Making lines. Stacking blocks. Practicing for my future job at UPS. You know, you know, uh, the uh, delivery service in the United States. Their, their package people that pack their trucks basically play Tetris all day and get paid for it. Man, I got some horrible stuff going. There we go. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm not sure about these uh, block placements that I'm doing. Chill out. Keep going. I've come back from... Nope. I was going to say that I've come back from situations like that before on camera, but... Uh, can't do it. Alright. This might be my last one. Depends on how I feel. If I do too poorly... I might go again because I just, I want to break 200. I want to show you that I can, I have the magic, that I can do it. Yeah, put that there. I'm going to be a maverick. I'm going to not take that three-line combo and wait to make a Tetris. Especially when it's a bit slow here right now and I can afford to do that. And so you saw I just made that mistake there. I, I was talking about how you don't want to put yourself in situations where you need that long piece to save you. And I did it. And I just did it again on the uh, other side now too. So we're gonna, even though these combos could be better, um, I, I want to fix my mistakes, so I'm going to concentrate on, yeah, I'm just going to concentrate on fixing the mistake and getting back on track, even though it's not giving me Tetrises. It's like not getting the Tetrises and only taking two or three line combos is sort of the penalty for messing up stacking. So I made my stack too jagged. And uh, that was a problem. Oh, God. Yep. It's looking, it's looking pretty bad. Oh, if I was a better player, I would have been able to fill that. But I'm not. I gotta go again. I can't, I can't leave it like this. I can't let you know that I am this bad. Okay. Put that there. Let it clear that. Now I'm back to that. I want to make that, I want to clear that hole out. There we go. Okay, getting back. What I might do is, uh, if I feel like talking is messing me up, I might make the last run of every video a no commentary run. see a better way to deal with that, so I just did that. Need an L piece. It's not the L piece I need. I messed that up, but I was lucky. Managing to use left rotation more.
when it gets fast like this, what I might do is just concentrate more on getting lines where I can and surviving. Like that's a situation where if it were going slower, I would have tried to make that a Tetris, but um, I'm not good enough to do that yet. I think that's that's one of the main things in this video is, or in this video series so far is sort of me trying to maybe show off and bite off more than I can chew in terms of making the Tetrises, and so I'm playing risky or riskier than I would if I were playing off camera just alone. Did it. We got above 200 on camera again. Now let's see if I can break 230. Yeah, that's a situation before where I would have definitely stacked higher to try and get the Tetris. But instead, I just, I got the line, cleared it, got to make that stack smaller. Another situation, same way. Approaching where I died on my very first run on camera. And we're already above it. All right. Success, finally. Progress. Oh, that was good. All this feels like accident. Now, if I make any good plays here, I guarantee you it was by accident. Because it's the game is so fast, and I'm so bad. <sighs> kind of just like. Flip it and hold the direction and pray that it lands where you want it to land. Oh, God, no. No, I was doing so well. Oh, $2.99. $2.99. All right, you see, that's my... my uh, I, I got in the top ten, and... Even that, even then, I got in the top three. So, there we go. That makes me a lot happier. Um, so here, I will end the video. Thank you for watching again. Thank you for bearing with me a little bit longer this time, but I feel like it was worth it. You saw my best on-camera score so far, and uh, I would appreciate it if you click the like button and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.